Hey, it's not all about meat in Brazil. Which is why we're giving a go this African-inspired vatapa as a Brazilian shrimp stew. This Brazilian shrimp stew needs dried shrimp, which is going to rehydrate, some amazing spices and flavours to cook off in palm oil, and then it's thickened with nuts and bread. Now, you said Brazilian. Yes. Are you sure this is Brazilian? Yes. From the northeast region of Brazil, and it starts with some dried shrimp, about a handful, and all we need to do is start to rehydrate those just by pouring hot water over oh, wait, them. Wait, 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 wait. I have to appreciate the smell of this. Can you smell that? I, I smell don't it. think they're going to be able to smell that. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's not pleasant. They are potent, not... but that's what gives this dish its authentic depth of flavour. In the meantime, I'm going to chop up an onion, you're going to do two cloves of garlic and one red chilli. And this is the base to our stew. Now the reason I question if this is from Brazil or not is because I've heard that it started in Africa. So it's, it's now very traditional in the northeast of Brazil, but you're absolutely right. It came across as an original sort of concept or idea um, from Africa. Now these need to be fried off Feel in a little bit of palm oil. Oh, you're really struggling. The onions were quite strong. A little bit of palm oil. You used this stuff before? I have never used it. I've heard about it. Another it. ingredient that came across from Africa now used a lot in the tropics, Brazilian yeah. cuisine. And the colour, the colour comes from the oil palms. It's right. the reddish pulp from the fruit of the oil palms that creates palm oil. Oh God. Now you're starting now to cry. Now I'm going. There we go. While that's sweating away, we're going to talk about a few other ingredients that are oh, classic. God to a vatapa that thickens it. It's nuts, cashew nuts, peanuts, and bread. Okay, so if I give you some of this stale bread, if yep. you just put it in our uh, chopper, Where is we it? just want bread crumbs over there. Blend those up to crumbs. Mm -hmm. Great, and the crumbs can go into here, because now we need to take our shrimp. They've kind of begun to absorb that. Re they're alive! They're not alive, oh. they're just floating occasionally. What I'm going to do is drain that off. You can actually buy shrimp paste. Because this bit kind of makes it like a chowder, I guess, isn't it? Uh, in the sense you're blitzing up fish into the dish. Yeah, yeah. I guess so, or a laxa from mm -hmm. Asia. All around the world, different stews of fish variety that use shrimp as a paste. Yeah, I guess you're right. That's cool. Now, at this stage, our onions are beginning to go nice and soft. And this is a brilliant part of this dish. Everything goes in together now. So, what we're going to do is put about a tablespoon or two of that in there along with the same of breadcrumbs. Nuts, we've got two forms of nuts, cashew nuts and roasted peanuts. Good handful of each of those. A can of coconut milk, and then the same again, another can, but this time just water, because you've got so many flavours in there now, that, that the water so just rich. helps to cook it out. So we'll bring this up to a simmer and let it bubble away for about half an hour or so, and then we can blend it to kind of a thick paste. Mm -hmm. And we're going to serve ours with rice, which we're going to cook off in salted boiling water. That's traditional in the northeast of Brazil, but you can also serve it as street food in oh, cool. kind of black eyed pea fritters, almost like falafel, oh. that you split open and put this amazing shrimp kind of stewy paste inside. Black eyed peas, do they uh, a Brazilian song, don't they? Do they? Yeah, Sergio Mendes. At this point, our rice is cooked and our stew, look at that, it's thickened yeah, up nicely. Like bread sauce in the UK, yep. bread and milk and infused with flavours, the <laughs> bread in here has now absorbed a lot of that. And all we need to do is transfer it to our blender to liquidise it. Why are we blending it? Why can't you leave it lumpy? Mm, I guess you could, but you want the nuts in there to blend up, because that's what make it creamy ah. as the nuts get blended. And I'm guessing it's traditional. And it's a bit more traditional. And we're trying our best here to be traditional. There we if go. If not, let us know. So if you can blend that up, because over here, this is where I'm going to take it away from tradition. Oh. So tradition would be quite a cheap, everyday kind of meal yeah. with a shrimp paste. We're going to elevate it by putting in some fresh sea bass and some king prawns yes, on top. Are. So we've got a smoking hot pan there and our sea bass goes in. At this point, season it up on the flesh side. The thing is, you can do what you want at this point, because what I've read about this dish is people even use chicken in this dish. They can kind of put anything in it. Yep, you've got the absolute basis, and from there you make it your own. And if you can blend that up. There we go. <coughs> Done? Almost. Oh. Well, it's a nice consistency, but now we season it up. Because although our shrimp paste is really quite salty, mm -hmm. now you can bring it really to life with the juice of a lime. So there we go. We can start to plate this up now. Our fish is nearly ready. Plenty of our rice. Thank you. Oh, that is incredible. Now, it smells now very good. fishy early on, but that, well, that was only one ingredient. The right of fish. When you mix it with everything else, it's absolutely beautiful. Mm. So that's going to go in there like so. We'll mm. top it off 
the fillet of sea bass. A few of our prawns dotted around there as well. Nice. Fresh coriander on top. Ah. Or cilantro. And there we go, a few cashew nuts. It's our take on a vatapur, slightly more high end with sea bass and king prawns. Hopefully the concept's still there. Do let us know in the comments below though if you would do anything differently. That is sorted. Fire! Now this is what I'm looking forward to. This is so unique. Lovely. Good. Kind of like a curry, but not. A little bit of spice, a lot of sweetness from the coconut and the nuts, mm. and the fish just makes it amazing. Yep, I like it. That's delicious. I'm definitely gonna try this one. But I might try a different fish. Why not? What fish would you go for? I'll go for cod. You? 